it makes you it tempts to go there. Then it has done its work, man, because posters, flyers, if it doesn't tempt you to go there, then probably it's not working. But it seems that this one is working. So it's called Brainy Kidstopia. Yeah, it's a flyer, a poster, right? Promoting this event. Yeah. So you have the pictures there, meet the characters, live performance, futsal challenge, fun activities. We have the details there. It's called Brainy Kids Topia, so we know who it's focusing on, right? The Kids and children. The, the background looks so attractive to people that, that they like that, that they like wanted to participate in this game. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's the idea of posters. They would have pictures to show you captions of what's going on. Because the idea and the main purpose is to uh, encourage you to go there. Yeah. So can I have someone read the text for me? Uh, can I, Roshni, could you read the first par uh, the first two paragraphs of page 17 in celebration? In celebration of Youth Day, Brainy Kidstopia promises an extensive lineup of family themed activities such as meet and greet sessions with popular characters, free child free trial classes from leading enrichment centers interactive activities and even a scholarship program with activities tailored for children between 5 to 12 of age the three-day event from 1 to 3 third july will be singapore's largest educational kids fair right thank you all right so a couple of words i want to go through here yeah the word extensive there means a huge range okay like you are spoiled for choices right so a huge range what other words when I want to go through? Interactive. When something is interactive, right? It's basically you can practice on it, it's hands on, yeah? So extensive. A huge range. Right? And then we have tailored for, yeah? So notice they use all of these, you know, uh, positive, right, words. What's that evoke emotion you like? Oh, I want to go there because it's tailored for me. Tailored means it's suitable for. It's made, made especially for students, students of these age, children of these ages, yeah? All right, interactive, hands-on, practical. Okay. Now, when you look at visual text, you must be very careful. When you want to find the purpose, right? Take a look at the caption, the title of the event. Yeah, all of those bolded words are clues to purpose. Yeah. Clues to the main purpose. Yeah, because some flyers, right, they have more than one purpose. Sometimes to encourage, sometimes to persuade. But you, when you want to find the main objective, look out for those bolder words, um, captions and titles, yeah, and headings. Okay, everybody, let's move on to the second part. Page 18, Clark. Let's look, look at some of the details, right? These are the dates. I'm not going to go through that part. You can take a look at it later, yeah? Later when we look for the information. But these are the date, dates, timings, venue, place, website, yeah? Highlights. Highlights were basically things that stand out there, right? What are, what are the attractions? Now, what, what you should expect to visit, all right? So the events or programs that stand out. All right, let's have uh, for Kidstopia Fun Passport and Goodie Bag Giveaway. Can I have Zayden please read it for me? The Fun Passport is an interactive activity for children of all ages. Participants are to complete activities from five different pit stops from a list of many. Completion of the passport entitles one to spin the prize wheel with exclusive prizes up for grabs. Mm -hmm. we, have a total, we have a total of 900 goodie bags to give away. Registrants are to redeem the goodie bags worth up to $80 on site from 10 a.m. onwards. Be early though, 
as the giveaway is limited to the first 300 registrants per day. Visit our website for more information. Right. So this one, you be careful with the information. In visual text, you've got to take note of the uh, number of activities. Yeah. What are, what are the uh, competitors entitled to, right? How many prizes, right? The number, the amount as well are all very important. And the timing onwards means from that time on after. Yeah. So let's move on to futsal challenge and you today. Can I have uh Kessler? Could you read it? Futsal and you today. Futsal challenge in collaboration with Fundy Amas Football Academy. But so enthusiasts can take part in Zopia's but so challenge where you be playing with players from Singapore's national football team, open to children aged seven to twelve years old, five prizes, including a football scholarship. You'll be awarded to outstanding players. Sign up for but so challenge here. www dot smart and Asia. Asia Faxer.co. How about the Youth Day one? Youth Day art competition only happening on 1 July Friday. Bring mm. all kids down to join in the art competition where a cash prize of $1,000 cash is up for grab. Children for all ages are welcome to enter. Register at our website and receive a free goodie bag worth $50. Registration of $5 applies. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a couple of words I want to go through. In collaboration means joining up with, yeah? Yes, uh, Nakshatra? Nakshatra, you raise your hand? No, I have an accident, please. Oh, accident. All right. Enthusiasm means interested, yeah? How many person are there? Interested in this. How many person are yeah? in this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, yes. Seven, eight, nine. Six. All right. Now, moving on. Aspiring Superhero Contest. I'm going to move on to this, yeah? Following success in March, Aspiring Superhero Contest is back. So we know that it's not the first time, isn't it? Not the first time. Words like not backed by popular demand. All these are indicators that it is not the first time. Come in your most creative superhero, superheroine costumes and, and strut down catwalk where you walk confidently. Winners will be judged based on creativity and overall appeal. Yeah, how they attract the, the viewers. Yeah, appeal means being effective. All right, and this is open to who? It's open to... Children 5 to 12 years of age and top participants stand to win prizes of worth $1,000. Prizes worth more than $10,000. Visitors are entitled to one chance at the lucky draw with every receipt of purchase, which means they have to buy something. Yeah, The draw happens once daily and $10,000 worth of prizes, including Disney hotel attraction passes, are up for grabs. Okay, let's take a look at the question and we're going to find clues. Visual text clues must be. Detected and analyzed before we find the correct answer. Also, we can use elimination method. See the difference between the choices. First one is the main purpose. Remember just now I told you, to find main purpose, you got to take a look at clues such as the heading. Yeah, look for clues in the title, caption, yeah, subheadings, and bolded words. Okay, those are usually very big indicators and clues to find the main purpose. So is it just to celebrate Youth Day? Let's look at the, the, the title, Brainy Kids Topia. Learning meets fun. And then it, it's, it also say, largest educational kids fair, they bolded it. So I think the first one is out. It's not just about celebrating Youth Day because they talk about the activities, which are the highlights. Is it to encourage family bonding and celebrate academic excellence? Encourage family bonding, maybe yes, but 
Is it the main purpose? Since they said it's the Singapore's largest educational fair. What do they have in a kids' fair? They have all of these activities. So this one is also out. Is it to promote educational and recreational activities? We have the keyword there. And the children means kids, right? Kidstopia, that's one. Right? Relating to the title of the place. And then this word activities is in the bold words, largest fun fair. And in a fun fair, you have lots of activities, right? So yes, the third one has more clues pertaining to or related to the title, subheadings, and bolded words. Okay? And it's not about showing parents. This one is definitely out because it's showing parents. The target audience is not only parents. Yeah? So that's why number four is out. All right. Number two. Notice that we have to go through each choice when you do visual text, yeah? Not just straight away pick one. Number two, what do children have to do for a chance to spin the prize wheel? Um, Smile, what do you realize about the choices? How are they different? Um, How are the choices different? For the third one and the fourth one, fourth one, like the third one is said uh, complete activities at all the pits. Mm -hmm. But in the fourth one, it says complete activities at five different pit stops. Correct. So see, these are the little, little, yes, thank you. These are the little, little words that differ and you have to make that comparison. To both have attempt, but attempt what? The activities to attempt are different. So let's take a look. What do the children have to do for a chance to spin the prize wheel? Let's look for where we can find the information from. It tells us about the prize wheel. Ah, do you guys see the Kidstopia Fun Passport? I see the keyword. Spin the prize wheel. What do we have to do? How are we entitled to it? Let me give you, uh, let me use a different color for the clue, yeah? It says completion of the passport. But how do we complete the passport? Nathaniel, it does tell us before that how do we need to complete the passport? It requires one to spin the prize wheel with exclusive prizes up for grabs. That is what you are entitled to, but how do we complete the passport? To complete activities from where? You have to go to five different pit stops from. Yes, very good. So, this is the big clue. So, therefore, which one is five different activities? Number. Oh. Definitely oh. number four. Yeah, good. Got to mute yourself, please. Thank you very much. I'm going to mute just mute you, Nathaniel. All right, let's move on to number three, class. <laughs> Selma went to the fair, but she did not spend any money. So we know that this is a big clue. All right. Which two activities was she not allowed? So the not is also bolded. Yeah. <laughs> So we have to find out which one requires no uh requires money because she did not spend any money. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so let's look for the ones that require money. Yeah. Okay. Lucky draw and the pass fun passport. Let's look at lucky draw. So you see, again, look at the choices. Oh, this one has lucky draw and lucky draw. Right? That means it will be fine to answer fast. So once I find out lucky draw, then I can just look for fun possible in our competition. Let's look at the lucky draw. Does she have to pay for it? Lucky draw. Visitors are entitled to one chance with every receipt of purchase. And as purchase means I need to
You need to buy. Hmm, I need to buy. So this one needs money. So I put the money sign, yeah? Oops. This one, right? So therefore, oh, I know. That means one of these answers must be correct, right? Because there's lucky draw and lucky draw. Correct. This one is lucky draw. This one also is lucky draw. But let's see the difference. Is it fun passport or art competition that needs money? Everyone go to the fun passport. Fun passport, do I need money? No, no right? So no money needed. So this one is out. But what's the next choice? The next choice is art competition. Do I need money for art competition? Yes. Yes. Registration of five dollars. Five dollars, still money, right? So I found the answer. Yeah. So oh. this is definitely looking for clues of purchase. So we have found answer number three. For hero contest. Uh, with superhero contest, that one uh, need money. It does say that it needs money. So it says that uh, you have you don't have to because it's open oh. to anyone who comes in your creative costume. Yeah, but you can win money. Not that you have to pay money. Yeah. All right. Last one before I assign the homework. Yeah, we're gonna complete page nineteen. Kimmy wants to receive a goodie bag from the fair. Which of the four should she? Uh, can you mute yourself? Uh, whoever that is, because I can hear some background. Okay, there we go. All right. So, which of the following should he do to ensure he gets one? Okay, he wants to receive a goodie bag. Complete the fun passport. Will he get one? Ensure he get one. Is it very sure? Let's go to fun passport. Fun passport, they only say that one spin price will, but nothing about goodie bag. So the first one is out. Yeah. Second one, register for the art competition. Let's look at the question. It says register at our website and receive a goodie bag. Yeah. So as long as it registers, yeah, get a goodie bag. Okay. So this one for sure you will get. All right. So we already found the answer. It's the second one. All right, class. So this is number two. All right. For visual text, of course, in order for us to answer correctly and accurately, we need to look for the evidence and the proof. Sometimes we can use elimination method, right? And sometimes we have to find synonyms in the visuals that are similar to the options, yeah? So for the first one, which of the following statements about the fair is false? We also have to be careful of certain words like not, true, false, etc., which is often bolded to assist us, right? So there is a mixture of free and paid activities. Is that true? I think earlier on there was a question about whether the person needs to pay or not, right? Remember question number three about Selma? And then we take we took a look at which ones required money and which ones did not. So that one really tells us that, oh, yes, it's true. There is a mixture of free and paid activities. So some options in the visual text, sometimes you can get some clues from your previous questions, yeah? Which makes it faster for you to locate the correct answer. Next, number two, there are altogether three lucky draws to be held. Are there three lucky draws? So we need to count them. So everyone, let's go to the visual text. What is the first lucky draw? Hang Sim, which is the first lucky draw? Are there three altogether? Yeah. The first page doesn't tell us about the lucky draws, right? Second pages, how many lucky draws are there? Three, how do you know? Which are the ones? Under which section? Mm -hmm. That's one. There's the second one. Okay. 
kids will be a fun Sometimes. passport. Sorry? Kids will be a fun passport. Kids will be a fun passport, yes. Second one. So sometimes lucky draw can be in the form of spinning the prize wheel, right? And where's the third one? Smyan, where's the third one? Um, aspiring superhero contest. Mm. Is this a lucky draw? But this one is more for them winning the prizes of the contest. Where's the other lucky draw? Anyone can find the other lucky draw. Ivan, where's the other lucky draw? Yeah. It's one where, not about you winning a prize, but more of when you are lucky. Yeah? Which one is it? Anyone can find the other one. Roshini, did you find the other lucky draw? Where is the third one? Or oh, those who found it, can you type it out to me in the chat? Where is the third one? Anybody found it? Look at the Youth Day Art Competition one. It says, bring your kids down to join the art competition where a cash prize of $1,000 is up for grabs, right? Yes, that's the one. Third, number three. Okay, Youth Day Art Competition, which means this is correct. Altogether, three lucky draws. Lucky is not one where you win because you um you got it because you win a competition. That's not lucky draw. That's when that's a prize for participation, right? There is no entrance fee. Is that correct or not? Nakshatra. There is no entrance fee. Let's go back up to the first page of the visual text. Is that true? There is no entrance fee. Look at the very top here under Brainy Kidstopia. How do we know that it's free or not? Which word or words tell us so? Well done, Mohit. There is no entrance fee. It's true. It's not. How do we know, Nashantra? Because uh, it's written free admission. Correct. Free admission. Yes. So that's the clue. So therefore, this is correct. Yeah. And we have to be sure. Is this one wrong though? It's held over one weekend only. Only is the big determinate, uh, determiner. Yeah. Is it only for one weekend? No, it's not, Mohit. Why? Let's go back to the details. It says the four one. And number four is the four one. Exactly. Because it is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Which means it's one weekend plus a Friday, right? So it's not one weekend only. Yeah. So this one is wrong. All right. The fourth one here. So the clue is that it's Friday plus one weekend. Okay. <laughs> Now, let's move on to, exactly, correct, Mohit, plus one weekend. Let's move on to number six. A six-year-old child cannot take part in which, um, which activity? Let's go back to the requirements of each, um, each of the activity, yeah? Okay, uh, for those of you who did it, right, and I hope you did, can you type out your answers first? Type out your answers. Just the number. Well done, Maya. Tell me your answer. Well, question six, yeah? Just once. No, once will do. Mm, okay. Very good, Roshi Mohit. Well done, Zayden. Well done, Eris. Well done, Nakshatra. Excellent. Just once will do. Okay, Zayden. Now, a six-year-old child, that's the age that we want to look at, right? Some of you gave me four. Why? Let's look at the art competition. Yeah, the answers that were given to me is either two or four. So I'm going to look at these two. Four, art competition. Six, uh, 
children of all ages are welcome to enter. All right, children of all ages. Yeah, and this one can, cannot take part. Cannot. So definitely those who give me number four, number four is definitely out. Because yes, they can take part. Because it says all ages can enter. Yeah. For those who give, give me number two, number two is correct. But for those who do not know why is it number two, let me find, let us find the proof. Why is it the futsal challenge? Let's go to the futsal challenge one. Look at that. Open seven to 12 years old. You see? So definitely the six-year-old child cannot enter. Okay, so well done for those who give me number two. Okay, so only seven to 12 years old. That's the proof, yeah? Let's now move on to number seven. Which of the following statements about the aspiring superhero contest is true? Again, you want to be careful which one is correct. So you know that it's about the aspiring superhero contest. So you know where to locate the answer. Yeah, this one tells you that you can go straight to the aspiring superhero contest section. So let's go back there. Let's go up there. So we should be looking at this section here. Yeah, I'm going to highlight in um, which color is that? Not just yet. I'm going to use blue. Okay, this here. So, following is success in March, which means is it the first time they organize this contest? Not the first time, yeah? Not the first time. Okay, let's look at the other choices, the options. Yeah, let's look at the options. It is not the first of a kind. Yeah? It is not the first kind. Is it true? Yes, we already found the answer. Yeah, it's not the first of its kind because it says of its success. So the first one. Yeah? And where's the proof? The line that I just highlighted in blue earlier, which is, I'm going to write it down for you, following its success in March. Okay, so well done for those who got number one. Following... It's success in March. Okay. Some other phrases like uh, to show that it's not the first time would be backed by popular demand, right? That one is also commonly used in visual text. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to question eight. Can I have everyone's answers, please, for number eight? I want to see your response for number eight, please. Just write down the number once will do. What's your choice for number eight? Okay. Good. Man. Well done. Well done, Aaron. Well done, Kessler. Well done, Pengsing. Well done, Zayden. Well done, Ivan. Well done, Roshni. All right, so far, all good. No one has given me the wrong answer. Those who haven't... All right. Ah, okay. I have somebody give me one and three. Let's take a look at why it's not one and three. Which of the following will not help Adam receive the football scholarship? Ah, okay, I have some corrections. Yes, well done, Mohit. Okay, why is it not number one? Being a star player during futsal challenge. Let's look at the... Those who get it right were those who gave me number two. Collaborating, but I'm going to tell you why it's number two. First of all, what is collaborating? Collaborating means joining, right? Joining Fandi Ahmad's football campaign. Do you guys know who Fandi Ahmad is? Anybody? Do you guys know who Fandi Ahmad is? No. no. Mm, it's Singapore's legendary football player. Maybe you guys, oh, maybe you guys weren't, weren't born during the time when he was a football player. Uh, he was a legendary football player. Yeah. And um, you probably recognize his sons, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can't compare him to Ronaldo and etc. Right. But we should be part of our national players. Right. <laughs> okay. Just in case you don't know how he looks like, maybe you know his children. Quick, quick one, yeah? I'm just going to digress a little. Here we go. This is Fanny Ahmed. Uh, 
uh, wait, maybe his family, maybe you recognize his son because I think maybe if one one of them, I'm not sure who, but they are, I think one of them is in the national team. Not sure which one. So that's funny, I'm my family. Huh? Can you guys see it? See the picture? Yeah, I think one of the, I think the daughter is a singer, if I'm not wrong, yeah? But anyway, it was during my time when he was still a player, so maybe that's why you don't recognize him. But as I mentioned, he is one of the uh, legendary football players in Singapore. Okay, so why is it number two? Let's focus. Why is it number two? Which of them will not help him to receive the scholarship? If we look at the futsal challenge section, yeah, it says in collaboration, when you join a uh, collaboration of Fani Ahmad's Football Academy, futsal enthusiasts can take part. Now, it's the, the academy yeah, joining with the competition. So it doesn't mean that you join the football academy, that you will get the scholarship. But it says a football scholarship will be awarded to outstanding players. So the keyword here is outstanding players. Yeah, When you play in a manner that is um, skillful, right, as compared to the others, right, if you have a particular talent, right? So definitely not number two. Okay, star player, yes, you're outstanding. Taking part, of course, to, to take part is the first step before you show your outstanding, correct? And of course, outstanding means impressive football skills. Yeah, so the clue would be because star player means outstanding. Ex impressive also means you're outstanding. And definitely to show that you're outstanding, you you must take part first. This is the first step. But nothing to do with collaborating with the academy. Yeah? So far, any questions for those who got this one wrong? 